Bilaro Rahim. This is Amir Sultan, QHSC Business International CEO. I hope you are following me on my videos. Today I will be talking on chapter number 178. Before I proceed to chapter number 178, I would like all of you to subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell button after doing that. Moreover, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and Twitter. Thank you so much. Chapter number 178 is about risk assessment. What is risk assessment and what are the main types of risk assessment and how they are done. I will tell you briefly, uh, there are basically uh, 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 two types of risk assessment which are very important like HSE risk assessment which is related to health, safety and environment and quality risk assessment which is related to the quality uh, aspects. Uh, now uh, first of all I will tell you about the uh, HSE risk assessment. HSE risk assessment is about the any ambiguity uh, 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 arising in the organization relating to health and safety and environment. For example, in an organization, there is a furnace operating and the uh, furnaces are giving a lot of smoke to the um, air. So what's, what is the uh, hazard here? Hazard is that smoke is going out to the uh, air which is giving environmental pollution and hazardous to the environment. So we will uh, do the risk assessment of that and after doing the risk assessment we will uh, put control measures. How the risk assessment will be done? For example, we will uh, have a probability and severity uh, 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 matrix, likelihood and severity uh, matrix uh, which, uh, which has, uh, uh, which has uh, points values uh, which are uh, put into the uh, matrix uh, detail about the likelihood and severity with the, from the low uh, hazard to the minor, um, uh, high hazard and low injury to high injury. When these values are catered on for that furnace uh, example I told you, these are put into the matrix, we will get the value of the hazard, what type of the hazard is it? Is it low hazard, medium hazard or high hazard? So each of, for each level of hazard, we will put the control measures according to that. For example, for this example which I have told you, we will put uh, measures like that we will uh, have a, a proper filtration system for that furnace. We will have a um, uh, recognized uh, certifying company to check the standard of that uh, uh, smoke on a regular basis. We will have competent persons to do that. We will have trainings to, for the people to check and verify that. We will have a um, uh, lot of um, uh, safety instructions related to environment over there. We have a uh, lot of safety signs related to environment placed down over there. And there are many things which will do for that uh, thing to which has come to that for example it comes out a high level hazard to make it to a medium level hazard and then we will put again control measures to change it to from medium level hazard to low level hazard and then ev eventually to finish that hazard. Now I will uh, come up to the quality risk assessment. In the quality risk assessment you, we do the uh, risk assessment which is related to any quality menu system things are not doing properly. For example in an organization there is no proper documentation process in the uh, operation process going on uh, and there are gaps present within that. So what happened when uh, things are not uh, finished properly and there are some missing documents present, the quality of that project or the, that product suffers and that uh, comes to the risk that uh, eventually the system has some failure in that and that need to be covered up. So what we will do, we will complete the documentation which is missing and then complete the all process so that there is no uh, risk uh, relating to the quality over there present. So here are a few examples and there are few things I have told you about the quality risk assessment and HSE risk assessment. There are many things about that and there is a complete details I have with me. If you need that information with me anywhere in the world, contact me at plus nine two double three five seven three four seven four double zero, and you can reach me on my email at amirsultanra at yahoo.com. Thank you so much.